the number one quarterback from the class of 2024, Julian Sayan, transferred from what? Alabama. He is committed what did, what did to you. Just say? The number one quarterback from the class of 2020. Julian Sayan was not the number one quarterback from 2024. Man. What you talking about, man? 24, Julian Sayan, transferred from Alabama. He is committed to the Ohio State Buckeyes. This is massive for Ohio State. No, it is not. But he's not even finna play. He's not even about to play this year. A lot of layers to this. What's the impact he brings to Ohio State? We'll talk about it right now. But first things first, Ohio State Buckeye fans, man, been a big off season. Going to be a big spring, spring football season, I'm sure. And even bigger, I'm imagining, fall for the Buckeyes. So we'll talk a lot about your Buckeyes. Talk a lot about what's going on in Columbus. Want y'all a part of this? Make sure you're subscribed. We appreciate y'all in advance for getting that. Yeah, I think this is about to be a... He about to just hype up Ohio State fans on this one. Well, I could be wrong, though, but Julian saying, one, he's not going to beat out Aaron Nolan. Number one, he's not going to beat out Aaron Nolan. Number two, he's going to be like third, fourth string on the on the depth chart. Cause it's like three soft, three juniors and seniors in front of him. Like, no. Not done. Roll party roll. All right, so what is Ohio State getting in Julian saying? That's probably a good place for us to start here. As I mentioned before, the number one quarterback from the class of 2024. Quick, Stop saying that, man. He is not the number one quarterback in 2024, man. God, he really said. I mean, he may be the number one quarterback for on three. I personally like Dylan Riola a little bit better. And I like Aaron Nolan better than both of them. So, you know, Aaron Nolan don't have this big old arm or whatever, but I'm telling you, the boy can play. Quick release. One of the more refined quarterbacks from the 2024 cycle and Charles Power, director of scouting and rankings here at On3, describes him as a really high floor prospect. To put it simply, dude's going to be a baller. He's shown you all the tools to be a baller, and he's going to more than likely um, have a tremendous college career. Now, fortunately for the folks in Columbus, you, you got him on your roster now. Um, from a macro level, here's what I think this is for Ohio State. You are upping the talent level in that quarterback room. Now, to be clear, this quarterback room now is pretty crowded. You got Devin Brown. You brought in Will Howard via the transfer portal as well from Kansas State, who's played a lot of college football. You also have another quarterback who was also top five in the 2024 class, and that is Aaron Noland. So, yes, you're going to have just a competitive quarterback room as a whole, but I think most Buckeye fans are saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean... Can we, can we keep both of these guys from the 2024 class? I think the best way I could describe this is you have not one, but two great options for the future in Julian Sayan and Aaron Nolan. No, you don't. You only got one because these boys are not going to ride that pine, man. They're going to hit that portal and go find somewhere they can play. It's all, no, you, don't, you got one option. You need to pick one because you need to hopefully you can pick the better one. But you got one option because Aaron Nolan and Julian Sayan are not going to ride that bench. They're not going to be number two to either one of each other. So whoever whoever wins that battle or whoever loses that quarterback battle in that 2024 class, they're just going to end up transferring anyway. So I, And I think Julian should have went somewhere else off the rip. But. And the fact that you have them now in the same quarterback room competing every single day at practice, like whoever's the better quarterback is going to earn it. Whoever ends up being the guy for you from that class will have earned it every single day behind closed doors in practice going head-to-head -head with the other guy. Okay, so iron sharpens iron, and you're going to see not just the development dividends of both these guys going against each other, you're going to see the competitive dividends. The guy who's able to kind of push themselves further than the other and benefit from the pressure of being at Ohio State and having someone to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with every single day. So if you're a Julian Sayan fan, which I'm sure if you're an Ohio State fan, that probably makes you a Julian Sayan fan. But if you're just watching this thing from a 30,000 foot view, you're saying, well, why does Julian Sayan pick Ohio State? Again, there's already a quarterback from the 2024 cycle in Columbus. And I think when you look at the decision to go to Ohio State, if you're Julian Sayan, like in hindsight, it actually makes a fair amount of sense. No, it doesn't. Because no, it does. It makes zero sense, man. It's 50 power five schools. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go to Ohio State, man? You could have went anywhere. Why would you go to Ohio State? It don't make zero. It makes zero sense, man. Keating has never been a thing that Julian Sayan has shied away from. I've never spoken to him, never sat down, listened to an interview from him. But by nature of committing to a place, like how can you make that assumption? Then you can't make that assumption. But how can you make that assumption? 
like Alabama. With as stacked as that quarterback room is right now and routinely in Tuscaloosa, that tells me like he knew he was going to have to compete wherever he ended up going. So now going to Ohio State, he's not flinching at that. He was going to have to compete in Tuscaloosa. He's going to have to compete in Columbus. He's ready for that. He signed up for that. So in that way, that box is checked. On top of that, though, you have... And he made the same argument for Dylan Riola going to, to Nebraska. <laughs> he made the same argument. It's literally the same copy and paste. I have to believe a big part of Julian Sayan deciding to commit to Ohio State, and this news just broke, so I'm sure we'll get more information as this thing develops. But I'm, I'm speculating that development is probably a very big factor for him. Otherwise, you don't commit to Nick Saban out of high school. You don't go to a place like Alabama. And for him to pick Ohio State now, after transferring from Tuscaloosa, tells me the exact same thing. Okay, if I'm going to go to a place that's going to help me reach my potential as a quarterback, might as well go somewhere and play for a head coach in Ryan Day who's worked with quarterbacks like the late Dwayne Haskins, who's been the head coach for a guy like Justin Fields and C.J. Stroud. Like That all checks out to me pretty cleanly. And I think it's a great decision for, by, uh, by Julian saying, essentially saying, hey, listen, my decision for my future or what I want to get out of my future, I'm aligning this decision in the present with who's going to most efficiently and probably with the most you know, structure to help me achieve my goals of having success at the NFL level and having success first at the collegiate level. So I'm excited to watch this. I think this is Obviously, a huge get for Ohio State and for Julian Say, and his priorities are what they are from the outside looking in. And to me, this checks a lot of boxes. So big get for Ohio State. The number one quarterback from the class of 2024, Nick Saban's retirement, continuing to send ripple effects across the college football landscape, making their way all the way to Columbus, Ohio. The Buckeyes have a stacked quarterback room. They got a good one in Julian Say. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't want y'all to miss and the main two things I agree with, pick, pick it. JD, the main two, two things I agree with JD on is, yes, Ohio State has a stack room. Yes, Julian saying is a big pickup just in name and NIL and rating and rankings alone. But everything else, I don't really, I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. But